Hey guys, I just wanted to show you how I propagate cuttings. This is my super high-tech, somewhat accidental propagation bin. I am talking pretty quietly because the husband and the baby are both napping in the other room. Um, so what we have here is a, I don't exactly know the brand, but it's similar to those Sterilite plastic bins, actually used to have shoes in this at one point in my life. Um, so it has aquarium water and a bunch of java moss and a bunch of little guppies actually because I broke down my aquarium and sold my fish but it's like impossible to get rid of all of your guppies. You'll always have little tiny ones that are impossible to catch but I didn't want them to just like die so I just tried to dump them and all their water together in this bin anyway um, there is an air stone down there an aquarium air stone and that's what is creating those bubbles um, and that's run by this pump and tube um, so a lot of people just propagate directly in water um, but this method is very fast and effective, and I've had very little rot, um, due to the fact that this water is very nutrient-rich, and it's also very oxygenated due to the bubbler. The things that I want to root faster, or I'm worried that they might rot if I don't put them directly over the air stone, I put over the air stone. That was, like, stated really stupidly, but things that I want to root fast and want to be successful, for sure, I put over the air stone. Um, things that already have a little bit of tiny roots, I will generally not put them over the air stone because they already have roots and then any other nodes they have will root very quickly because they have roots that are capable of taking up that water and capable of taking up the nutrients in the water. So now let me just show you some of the cuttings in here. I have two just normal ZZ plant stalks. Well, this is a bad first example. This one doesn't have anything. I might actually have to cut off that tip and start over again. But these ones broke off my plants outside. This one has um, roots and a tuber forming at the base of the stem. This is just a little manjula cutting. Plant. Raphidophora tetrasperma cutting. Let me hold my phone differently so I can focus. Um, you can see it also has growth at its node. Um, there's like a whole bunch of. I had a big long stem of some of this silver stripe, and one little piece had roots. Um, when I first put it in here, and then all the little pieces started growing roots um, shortly, so I just went in and like snipped it up into a million pieces so I could have create a more full plant. This I just put in here, um, I think yesterday, and if you look, like you can already see some roots softening up, starting to form, and little buds starting. These I put in here less than a week ago, and you can kind of see, do you see where it's darker and has a little bit of a point? There's a root starting to form. Um, it's just, everything does great in here. Loves the nutrients, loves the oxygen quickly. These are some brandy cuttings. Oh, well this is, this is variegated oriental cutting. Um, oh, here's a syngonium that I tossed in here at some point. I don't even remember tossing this in here. It must have just been the stem. This big thick part and then I ignored it and lo and behold that's what it looks like. Um, 
Anyway, I was showing you these brandy cuttings. So, oh wow, that looks really good. So, I don't actually know that these roots have made much progress since I put it in there. I did get a rooted cutting from someone in the plant group. Um, and the local plant group. And I chopped it up more because I chop things up is what I do. I have a problem. Um, I think I just put it this in here like a day or two ago. So I guess it's, oh that's not a brandy, that's a, an exotica. Um, so I didn't really expect it to do anything yet, but I'm sure it'll do fine. Do you, oh, focus. Well, oh well, you can't, there's no growth on that yet anyway, so. There's a little root starting on that mandula. Boop, little baby. Yeah, so like, sorry, I'm sniffing this cutting. I think it's, it smells like pepper. I don't know why it smells like pepper. Maybe that one just smells like pepper. But yeah, anyway, lots of roots in here. Things love it. Just giant, giant mess bin. So, yeah, that's all for now. Just wanted to show you my little propagation method and how effective it is because people are doing all kinds of crazy things and just toss them in a bucket and some fish water with some air and you're good to go.